This is Matt for Into Boxing. Delighted once again to be joined by Dave Caldwell. Dave, give me your reaction to what was an unbelievable atmosphere, one of the best I've ever been a part of. In the end, was it worth the wait? Oh my god, and then some. Yeah, it was. Wow. Wow. I didn't. I knew it was going to be better because of the stage of the career. I thought they'll take more, they'll get hit more. But I didn't think Khan would take as much at this stage of his career. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of thought it, it, you know, I said Kel inside five, six rounds. Um, but I didn't expect Khan to take as much as that. He's good um, on his feet well, didn't he? Man, he shows so much balls. Just pure balls and heart. And you can't, you can't knock him for that, you know, regardless of who you wanted to win before the fight, regardless of what, what side of the fence you were sitting fan-wise, um, you've got to respect Amir Khan for, for the performance he put up. And, and what a way to go, go out on his shield. If that's his last fight, what a way to go out. Because throughout his career, he's always shown guts. He's always been vulnerable, yeah. but he's always shown guts. And, you know, I, I mentioned it in commentary there, you know, people, when you saw him against Maidana and people like that, he was hurt and he kept coming back. Tonight, he stayed in there. And, but Kel just kept on going. Kel was vicious tonight. Yeah. yeah. What what a great fight. Just one thing on Khan. Does that almost sum his career up? The fact that no matter what, win, lose or draw, that heart. Yeah. Because he took, I think Kel threw a left hook and it popped, he snapped his head up and I thought, he's yeah. done it. And he hung on and yeah. no matter who you wanted to win, you've got to respect yeah. that. But then oh, yeah. on the flip side, you look at Kel and I grew up watching Kel and I'm watching thinking, this is the Kel Brook. This is the Kel Brook I see five years ago. He was riding the shots well and his composure, because it was a pro can crowd in here tonight. He had his fans, oh, but mate, he had his fans. change of gloves in the ring. Do you understand what that does for a fight? And not being able to hit them. I thought they should have warmed, you know, should have, should have brought some pads in the ring and do, do a little bit of a shake out in there up. while he's waiting. But he was so composed, so brilliant. It was brilliant. What do you, what do you think, obviously, for Khan now? It looks like he'll probably sail up into the sunset, but yeah. in terms of Kel Brook, I mean, Obviously, he could do the same, but when you look at what was yeah, left but there... The, pro the problem is... It, I know no, it was against no. a different calm, but... The problem, the problem is, to, it will never get as big or as great as what tonight was for Kel Brook. Never. So that's a dangerous position to be in, because if you're a fighter and you've had your greatest night, you've had, you know you've had your greatest night, what are you fighting for still? Because the guy that's chasing you, a Conor Ben, a Chris Eubank Jr., they want it more than what you do. Yeah. So you're in danger there of how can Kel put himself through another camp like what he, what he has done for this one. Can he do that again for somebody where he's not really that bothered as yeah. much as this? I don't think so. And, and, and you run a, a real risk of, of undoing all your great work. I would love, as somebody who's known Kel since day one, since he walked into Brendan's gym, I would love to see him walk away now. I think that's a perfect ending. What about when you look at the end, all the animosity, all the stuff that got said midweek and at the end they both came together because yeah. I was still a bit dubious I thought, yeah. especially if Kel wins, I thought Kel might give it him a bit but you know what, he went over, offered his hand and they came together, that was, that's what this sport But Kel's a nice kid. That's what this sport is all about, isn't it? And, and that's exactly, that's, you know, we, we go to war, we slag each other off, we get personal, you know, we abuse each other before a fight, yeah. and then when you put on a fight like that, you have a certain respect that, that people that don't do this sport don't understand. Yeah. They're like, how can that? And then they'll say, oh, it was fake. It would never. No, it was real. Yeah. I've been around it for like 15 plus years. It was real. It's just the respect that this sport delivers, and this is why people send the kids to gyms because to learn about respect and learn about things yeah. like that. Do you know what I mean? It's the best sport in the world. When it's done right, it's the best sport in the world. And it was done right tonight. Look, yeah. Dave, thanks for giving me some of your time Cheers, again. Thank you. We'll catch up again. Thanks.